All right, we're back. Heather's keeping score. One and, and we, one, if you're. <laughs> it's one to one. Very difficult math right now. And we are joined by Antiques Appraiser Dr. Lori to look at a few more items sent in by you, our viewers. And Dr. Lori, we have some great items up next. Uh, we had teased ahead to two of them um, to see which was worth more. So we'll get to Terry's Beatles board game first. Okay, so this is flip your wig game. <laughs> and it's, of course, the Beatles. Uh, right at the height of their, of their, of course, popularity in the mid to late 1960s. Most board games are like in the $25, $35, $40 range. But some board games, if they have other elements like Star Wars board games or celebrity board games, can be worth a little bit more. I assume this was mass produced, but it's, it's more based on the condition of what's left, right? Yeah, it's based on the condition. You have to have all your pieces. Make sure you keep all your pieces, right? <laughs> and then, of course, the box is important. Try not to put cellophane tape on the box either. Did you play a lot of board games? We played board games at my oh, house. Oh, yeah. I love board games. Love I don't, board I games. Could, I could play board games all the time. No one else wants to play with me. I'll play with you. Okay. I'll play with you. Do you like sequins? Okay. I love sequins. No, I've never played sequins. Okay. <laughs> but Date night. Back to the matter at hand, however. <laughs> So this was not autographed by any of the Beatles or anything like that. You would have no. mentioned that, Dr. Lori, right? I would have mentioned that. It has all the Beatles. You know, which were you? I was always a Paul. You had to pick your Beatle. My favorite was Paul. Do you have a favorite Beatle? <laughs> Oh, I don't see. know that I've ever thought about which Beatle is no. my favorite. See, I'm more really? of like the I'm more of like a Probably Justin. Paul. Like oh, a, yeah. <laughs> Justin was not part of the Beatles. I know. That's what I'm saying. That's like more. <laughs> I'm more of like a Justin. Justin Timberlake. Right. I, it's more, I'm a little bit, you know, in that. All right, yeah, we should anyway. probably <laughs> guess. <laughs> we should probably guess. All right. All right. Um, <laughs> you know, How I, much do you think it's worth? Okay. Like 60s Beatles board game. You go in first. In good condition. 125. Ooh, I said 75. $150. Oh, good job, Heather. Thank you. Thank All you, right. David. <laughs> Very good. All Can right. you evolve into the Beatles memorabilia stuff? And those those pieces are high. I don't know if you guys at home just saw the look that David gave me, but it was kind of like, kinda like a, a look. She's winning, and I gotta step it up. Right. That's what I just got. I am stepping up. <laughs> you just watch. All right. So Jan has right. shared with us the other celebrity item. It's a Debbie Reynolds autograph picture. Is that what it is? Yes. It's a black and white, which would be known as a gelatin silver print. It's a black and white photograph. And it's signed by Debbie Reynolds, um, who had renewed fame after her very successful career as an actress because of her daughter, Carrie Fisher, speaking of Star Wars. So, so I mean, hmm. because of that relation, Debbie Reynolds isn't worth more because of the Star Wars connection, is she? That's too far flung, right? She had, that's right. She's not worth, it's not worth more, but she has a renewed interest. And any time you have sort of a second act, you know, I talk to a lot of people, video calls, and say, Dr. Lurie, I want to be an appraiser for a second act in my life. You know, right. whenever you have a second act and it's successful, you start to see that there's a whole new generation of people who are familiar with your particular, in this case, autograph. Now, the fact right. that Debbie Reynolds just passed away, uh, and so did Carrie Fisher, does that make this worth more? Well, it makes it more prevalent in the market. So if it's more prevalent in the market and you know more about this, then you can see value go up. But not only because she's gone is it more valuable. That's a big myth. Now, here's my other question. I, I'm having a difficult time reading what the writing says on here, but it looks personal. If there's a personal message and not just the signature of the individual, does that change the value? Depends on who the personal message is. Right. So this says to Janet, happiness always. Well, if it's to you know Janet Lee, right? I mean, who's a famous person, oh, then it could yeah. be worth more. It depends right. on who that is. Okay. So we don't know who the you Janet know, is in this picture. You and me and David could be worth more. Okay. okay. Gosh, I don't know. I don't this know. Is There's hard. a lot of factors here. I. Oh, I think are I keep, like, I keep I appraise guessing. a lot of autographs. Autographs can be difficult in terms of value. Well, I, I don't know that the, the uh, to Janet makes it um, hard for oh, me. Could I? Gonna, You're going to go back? I'm gonna, I just, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just torn. I just am I have, I have you all twisted around yeah, you now. You do, because I want to win. I know you do. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go 225. I'm going to go 150. It's worth 150. 
Good job. Yeah. Tied up yeah. two and two. Took 150. Oh, that means both of the Beatles, the Beatles item, the Beatles board game, and the Debbie Reynolds autograph picture are worth the same amount. Both winners same today. Amount. All right, yeah. let's get to Andrea's uh, Hawkeye shutter camera. She sent us this picture. This is really neat. Yeah, so this has the accordion element, which was state of the art in the 1920s, or of course the aperture basically when it comes to photography. This is a very nice piece, and it of course is in very good condition. A lot of interior decorators, my friends at the Association for Interior Decorators in Pittsburgh, will add these for a look maybe in mm -hmm. a, when they're designing a, an office space or a den. So they're, it's really quite nice. It's in very good shape. It's I also quite ornate. I yeah. mean, it, it, yeah. it's quite intricate looking. Yeah. Is it, does it still work? Is it functional? I think it is functional. I think it's difficult to get the film. Right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But primarily, this would be like a, a camera collector that would be into this, or you mentioned even for interior design. That's the market that we're thinking of here, right? That's the market that we're thinking of, yes. So camera collectors, and there are a lot of people who collect cameras. They're all over the internet. People don't just get rid of cameras. They're kind right. of like crucifixes. You can't get rid of the camera. You can't get rid of the crucifix. Oh, boy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Never thought about that before. Thank you, Dr. Lord. Uh, oh. Okay, I, I, I went a little high because cameras are so expensive. Yeah, that's true. Okay, okay, so for the win, for the win, David. For the win. I we're went $500. See. Wow. Okay, I went considerably you lower did? than that. Really? I went to 225. 225. Really? 225. It's a 1920s camera without the film. Reassess quickly. Uh, we we should both reassess. All right. Okay. Yes. Um, I'm going. I'm going fifty dollars. Oh, yeah. see, I shouldn't have said it before you wrote down a number. Well, I was writing my number before, so it's okay. I'm going seventy-five. It's worth sixty-five dollars. You won. You Wait. won again. <laughs> But it was so close, it Heather. Was so, it, was it was so, so close. close. And you know what? We're all winners because we've we've gained knowledge. I am surprised you're at that, though. You're getting better. <laughs> you're getting better. You're asking better questions, and you're learning all kinds of important stuff about, I don't know, antique to me. And I actually put the Matryoshka together. That's not easy to do in a <laughs> minute and a half, you know. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dr. Lori. <laughs> I love all you right. guys. <laughs> love you too. All right, send us your photos for a future episode with Dr. Lori. Just email them with any info that you can share to PTL at KDK.com and then watch for Dr. Lori back here as a regular PTL guest every Tuesday.